Patrick's Garage. Temperature compensator, our topic for today. For what this temperature compensator was built in? For this beautiful Zenith Stromberg carburetor. Temperature compensator, our topic for today. This is temperature compensator right here, you see, with plastic plastic cover. It was white plastic cover, now it's a little bit yellow. So, for what, why, this temperature compensator was built in, into this beautiful Zenith Stromberg carburetor. From the commemorator, this called 175 CD2SE. E. This is temp this is carburetor was with a letter E, what means emission control, as I think. So let's look inside of this temperature compensator. We can and screwing it with a ribs to two screws and it is a necessary to mention that this temperature compensator here you see designation of these temperature compensators of course different as all parts of different models of carburetor this carburetor was used as a single one. You know, this carburetor can be in a couple. Even this uh, can be using as a three carburetors at one car. So let's open our compensator plate and look inside. What under this cover? Here you see these two small slot screwdriver. We need to unscrew in these screws. And we look what under this cover. You see so called bimetallic blade, bimetallic narrow, which can pull these tapered plug so additional air can go through this hole area with cleaned air which covered with um, air filter and here goes fresh cleaned fresh air and this air goes through these plug this plug inside tapered plug and uh, when our engine temperature can be heated this uh, bimetallic blade from body of this carburetor because it heated temperature racing when engine working temperature was achieved so it can be working now it closed closed completely because of this cold 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 body and temperature compensator cold so this is closed and it can get uh, it can allow uh, the additional air to go through this hole, this, this, uh, our mixture will be more weaker when temperature compensator opens. You know, heat when engine in working normal temperature, it needs not so a lot of, not needs so lot of uh, gasoline. Okay. We open and screwing. There is not exactly the same screws. This means that 
someone before us and screwed this uh, temperature compensator for any purposes, so I don't know for what it was done. Okay, and now we just can lift this up and see if we can do this a little bit with our screwdriver carefully enough we need to do this with carefulness so we see what this is temperature compensator you see there is tapered plug when temperature growing when temperature grows a little bit up through this hole goes air and this is narrow bands so it pulls this is tapered plug so additional air can go behind our main jet behind our piston it goes directly to their intake manifold it goes to the engine so weaker mixture we get our engine gets when it it in walking normal temperature when engine achieves walking temperature here we get a more wicker mixture and when we start our engine we need more gasoline so it closed when engine cold it closed okay how we can check it type it for type like this temperature compensator how it works this narrow pulls our plug it opens depending on from the temperature so it regulates all the time here yeah, should be sealed a ring I think this was in the bottom maybe but it should be sealed to prevent penetration of air air between surfaces dirty air can get here so it should be sealed seal ring Okay, this is temperature in normal uh, walking I think this uh, uh, normal condition here we we can't notice any scratches so nobody we uh, we can hope that nobody uh, trying unscrewing these regulating nuts yeah one nut one nut and one washer under this nut and uh, we can regulate this only if this is necessary and we measure temperature with water we can put this into the water and heating water and see its temperature so we can judge how it works it starts a little bit starts a little bit open at the uh, normal uh, I think normal <coughs> room temperature so it will be better of course to clean it before we put it into its place so we make sure that this temperature compensator in normal working condition here it will be better when we this uh, this cover should be sealed so it's prevent penetration of the air 
inside so it not sucks the uh, dirt air we are screwing it into its place yeah this temperature in good shape we can store it as a reserve I think okay but these screws not exactly the same I don't know why all threads these threads in the inch size oh, okay since we talking about inch size here is fancy <laughs> digital caliper why this designate as a uh, one seven five what this what this means 175 what this is means okay we measure this carburetor yeah we can adjust tune it as inch We should measure here to be to get correct data. Here it's cheating a little bit, but here should be one point seventy five inches, which means three one and three quarters of inch right here this is diameter of our butter fly this uh, this diameter is cheating a little bit cheating not correctly measurements but here should be 175 74 so it's so close for true I think it's, it's should be so okay today we learned what temperature compensator is how it works, how to check it, how to designate it. Here yeah, you see this, this mark of this temperature compensator. Right here. All temperature compensator absolutely different from different carburetors. Thanks for watching.